going on guys it's Simo and welcome back to yet another deck building challenge so if you're new to the series what we do is in each episode we take some sort of crazy deck stipulation when it comes to deck building build a deck in under 10 minutes so we don't have a lot of time to do it before going to a best of one with some of your favorite content creators we've already done like six other episodes so I'd highly re recommend checking those out but we are going to go back to our roots for the spirit of Christmas and the holidays and bring back the person who started it all the one the only Miss Mr. House of Champs. How you doing, buddy? What's good, Simo? And welcome to your own channel. Thank you. Uh, so this is going to be a really fun challenge. I came up with this because it is the holiday season. Like I said, I should have had a uh, Santa hat for this video, but unfortunately I couldn't find one. But we're going to be doing cards that give... Uh, something to our opponent in the spirit of giving. So the rules are we're only allowed to use cards that give something to our opponent, whether it allows them to draw cards, allows them to give their uh, creatures um, like attack boosts, um, it can give them life points. It doesn't necessarily have to be a card that has to, if it's a card that can give it to either player, you can still use it for yourself, but the option has to be there to give it to the opponent. And there are some banned cards that do this. We are gonna allow those as well. We're not gonna allow them at three, so we're gonna be playing like traditional format rules so we can play one each of those banned cards. Uh, John, how do you feel about this, uh, this challenge? <laughs> well, we have a gentleman's agreement not to use Fiber Jar out yes. the gate here. And I actually have something similar in my own streams. It's uh, during the Christmas season we play this deck where I try to give my opponent cards that are 0-0 zero, zero with stuff like Creature Swap in order to burst through with Chaos Max. So this is definitely more so a long drawn out, there's no clear finisher, we've got to build something interesting deck. Yeah, I'm really curious to see because there's also like two different routes you can go with this challenge too. And uh, we'll talk about that a little bit more later. But uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get to the deck building. So I've only got 10 minutes in order to go through cards that give my opponents something. This is levels, life points, draw cards, gaining attack and defense. This is all we're stuck through. And the first card that's immediately going in that we talked about is going to be Cyber Jar because Fiber Jar is gentleman agreement out. Well... Cyber Jar is not, but we can only play one of these. Definitely going to be a power play throughout here. Uh, Durandal, interesting to see him here. Definitely going in my extra deck if I can use him later. We've got the Bistro Butcher. I, please don't tell me it's going to be so bad that I have to play a card that gives my opponent two draw cards. A Pot of Greed? I really hope not. I know Chainsaw Insects also here. Yeah, this is a card that ends up in a lot of what-if situations that are funny. And Yu-Gi-Oh! So Chainsaw Insect... Oh, it only gives them one instead of two. Yeah, there's no way that Beastra is going to be worth it considering we have Chainsaw Insect. Okay, so what I want to start with is I kind of want to start with cards that change control because cards that change control, if we get in this position where we're behind, we can actually just steal the opposing monster. So what I actually want to do is um, there are some cards that we can use, Snatch Steel being one of them. We are allowing ourselves to use banned cards one each. So Snatch Steel is a really good one. And um, let's see what else we can find here on this page. Um... There's got to be something here. A lot of these change control, but some you have to, it has to be something that you can give to your opponent. Now, Snatch you, you're taking the monster, but they gain a thousand life points. So that actually does work. Uh, so let's see here. We have to think of cards that are going to be able to actually give us... The, we can take the monster, but it has to give like them something at the same time. I think this old card, Brain Jacker, actually does... It's a flip monster. Equip to a monster your opponent's field. Take it as an, as an equip card. Take control of the equip monster your opponent gains five. So it's okay. So it's Snatch, Steal, and a monster. So Brain Jacker might be actually pretty good just because of the fact that it can do that. I think Creature Swap might be a good one as well. Because again, we lose a monster, but we also get to take a monster. Um, it switches control of it. If so, if uh, John only has one monster, then he has to give us that monster. Uh, let's see what else is on here. Maybe there's something else we can come up with. We've also got Danger Mothman. Uh, potential to the opponent. Danger Moth. Let's add one of him in. Two of him in, probably. I don't know why I can't drag or click or drag my cards. Uh, well, what an unfortunate thing to happen during a challenge. I'll just uh, restart Dueling Book, and hopefully, hopefully this can be fixed. 
That's never happened to me, I think, in my entire time with uh, dueling books, so. Let's actually, let's go away from this for now. Let's start with just cards that uh, let him draw cards, because there are cards that let us draw cards, even though they'll let him draw cards as well. Um, I want to put Bistro Butcher in here for the time being. It does let him draw two cards a piece, but um, it is an 1800 body. So if we find better bodies, then that's perfectly fine. I'm also gonna put Soul Taker in here. Soul Taker uh, is uh, spot removal from the uh, old days. It destroys a monster, but it gives the opponent a thousand life points. So that's perfectly okay. Uh, Chainsaw Insect is actually pretty good. It's a 2400 beater. And if it, attack, if it does attack or was attacked, it'll let our opponent draw a card. But 2400 is huge. So I think that could be very relevant. Danger Mothman is actually very good because it's a monster we can special summon. So I like that we can do that. There is an argument to be made for going for a mill approach here just because we're able to uh, just draw so many cards. So that's a possibility. Uh, let's see here. I actually kind of like Kuraz because Kuraz is removable. He can't attack the turn he uses his effect, but if we get in a situation where we can't out something, it could actually be very useful. Please tell me I still have my deck. Okay. Here we go. He's dragged out. We have Destiny Hero Defender. He's a big boy. Uh, big defense. Actually, if the meta comes down to uh, us trying to out the chainsaw insects, it'll be very important. Uh, I do know Saryuja would be in the attack one, so we'll uh, definitely be thinking about Saryuja and getting to Saryuja, probably a third math, uh, Mothman then, not Mathman. Let's see, who else do we have? Fiber Jar is banned between us, the Hero Shadow Scout is pretty hilarious, Morphing Jar, that's a good one. I would uh, think we're going to be setting up, maybe there's some realistic back row and it's not going to be all monsters. Let's see here. Uh, Morphing Jar, just allowing us to draw more cards if our hand is empty, I think is actually pretty good. Let's see what else is on here. Uh, ooh, speaking of Morphing Jar, Cyber Jar is banned, and that allows yeah, gives monsters to our opponent. So Cyber Jar is also a good one. Let's see if we have anything else useful on here. There's card destruction, but I'm not sure if card destruction is going to be useful or not. I mean, again, it allows us to just cycle through our hand. We'll put that in the side deck for the time being. Uh, what else do we- Cup of Ace? Ooh, man, do we really risk going Cup of Ace? Like, it's Pot of Greed if we can flip the coin right, but, mm. Dangerous Machine Type 6. Uh, we use this in the, uh, random challenge, as a matter of fact. I don't think we actually resolved it, but, um, it does give something to our opponent, but it could also benefit us as well. It can also backfire on us, too. I kind of like Dark Bribe, just for being able to negate anything John may have. That could be pretty good. Who else do we have? We've got Photon Lee. Santa Claus. Can I can I resist Santa Claus? I don't know that I can resist Santa Claus in a Santa challenge. At least at one. It's an okay card in case he does get to Sar you too. Sasuke Samurai number three. Silent Wabi. Oh my gosh. There's so many interesting cards here. Book of Eclipse, that's gonna be a good one. Just make sure you don't die. Uh, and try to maybe stop them from Link Summoning if you can. Cup of Ace, oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> if you're Ryan Levine, you're always drawing two. Dark Bribe, not a terrible one, but I don't think we'd be stopping Cup of Ace. Uh, I'm gonna put it down. I know it's a best of one in this challenge, so I'm putting options that are maybes here. So I don't know if our spell and traps are gonna be strong enough to warrant that. Drag down, do we really need the hand destruction? Mm, I don't think so. We get to draw cards, but looking at his hand could be useful. So maybe Grand Horn of Heaven. If he special summons something big, but I don't know if there's a lot of special summoning. I guess we'll throw it in for the time being. Uh, what else? Uh, one Day of Peace, maybe to potentially just like have a turn off. One Day of Peace is limited, so there's only gonna be one of those. Let's see, what else? Recall, isn't Recall like Dark Bride, but for monster effects? Your opponent activates a monster effect, your opponent draws a card to gate, and there we go. Okay, I like that. So it's like budget solemn strike, I'm down. Uh, Trickstar Reincarnation sounds really good, but we don't have any trick stars that actually like meet the criteria. Dark World Dealings is a good one. Mayhaps, mayhaps. And Hand Destruction, Dark World Dealings. Could deck out be an option if he is also playing a lot of this stuff? Dark World Dealings, Hand Destruction. I don't know if it could be that real, but we do have big stallers. Hmm. We've got present, co wait, deck out really could be an option. Present card. 
Oh my gosh. I, I feel like it's gotta stall out. That means, uh, Trickstar Reincarnation's an option, too. Right? Like, I would- yeah, Trickstar Reincarnation's in here. Okay, this is starting to go somewhere weird that I did not expect. Let's go ahead and go into your opponent gains life points. Uh, we only have five minutes left, so that was going real quick. Uh, there's Brain Jacker, so that's a good one. Burning Algae, uh, Damage Eater, that does not seem good in the slightest. Uh, Luna Light Crimson Fox, Crimson Fox, uh, where is it? Uh, da, 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 da. You can banish this card from your and negate the activation. If you do, each player gains a thousand life. It's an effect that gives your opponent life, and it's an 1800 body. I'm in. Uh, so what else do we have here? Prime Material Dragon. I think I just like Karaz better. Uh, Silent Wobby, Stray Asmodian, Tuning Magician. Uh, Chicken Game. Chicken Game's card draw, so sure, why not? Let's go for it. Chicken Game sounds okay. Uh, we need to go back to here. Paths of Destiny, Reign of your Savage, Coliseum, Snatch Steel. I think I already put Snatch Steel in. I did. Soul Take, there's Soul Taker. Uh, Upstart Goblin, that's fine. Free card, sure. I don't think that actually matters too much, but we'll see. I definitely don't want to be just straight giving them five cards at times, I would feel, in a simplified format. Uh, but we'll see if it ends up worth it. One Day of Peace also drives us towards that point. Gain life points. So this won't help with the draw stuff, but I definitely need to be looking through here sooner than later. We're already four minutes in, almost five. We got Curry Bon. We got Silent Wobby again. <laughs> that card's gonna appear throughout here, isn't it? We've got Chicken Game. Oh, we're allowed one of these. Chicken Game. Which could also protect us, uh, since there's not gonna be much spell and trap destruction, right? Let's see here. We're done with this section. We got Muyan Curry. That's a joke. Savage Coliseum, try and guess. Ooh. Uh, let's go into your opponent's monsters gain attack. So you got Dragon Horn Hunter, Math Mech Edition, Flower Cardian, got some Performa Pals, Salamangrate Spinning, Saryuja. I don't know if we're going to make a Saryuja, but like we might as well just throw it in. I, again, like, I don't think that's ever happening, but, I mean, it, to, it can give 300 uh, attack to the opponent's monster, so why not? Um, none of these seem particularly enticing. What about your opponent's monster's gain levels? Uh, Bright Star Dry... Bright Star? What is that? When this is normal summoned, you can target another face of monster. I feel increase its level by two until the end of the turn. It's 1900, though. That's what, uh, that's why that caught my eye. So I think I want to go with that. Constellar Koss... 1800 um fine like again any 1800 bodies like seems good just for like the beatdown game next up we've got monsters that gain attack for the opponent math mech edition is a newer one math mech edition Target one face up monster in the field. You cannot special summon monsters from the extract for the rest of the turn, except Cybers monsters. I'll special summon this card. If you do, the targeted monster gains a thousand attack. This will be good for our own boys. And it's a four. So you could technically give it to the opponent, but we're gonna be abusing it for ourselves. We have three minutes left, so time is going really quick here. Um, I wanna cut this down a bit, cause it's already a little bit, uh, we're already over 40, so. Let's see, what can we cut down? I think I want to get rid of Bistro Butcher because we have a lot of 1800 attack monsters in Crimson Fox. Uh, Mothman's actually 1800 too. Chainsaw Insects 24, Bright Stars 19 costs. So I think that's enough. I don't think we need Upstart because it's like, it's we're not really playing like a like consistent combo deck or anything. Um, I don't think Grand Horn's actually that good because I don't think we're doing tons of special summoning in this. So I don't think we can play the Grand Horn. I mean, like we could, but I don't really think it matters. Vision Hero multiply guy let's read this dude if you take battle or effect damage while this card's in your graveyard you can place this card graveyard and dispel and trap zone you can tribute a hero monster well uh we do have hero monsters actually you can tribute a hero monster special summon this card this card special summon from the spell and trap zone you can make one face up monster gain 800 definitely not worth it uh i would think Ancient Gear Castle, Backup Rider, Clashing Souls. Clashing Souls is really good, if I recall. Clashing Souls. During damage calc, if your attack position monster battles an opponent's attack, the controller of the battling monster will lower attack can pay 500 for 500 attack. 
keep doing it. Uh, neither player takes any battle damage from the battle. Also, after damage calculation, if a monster would be destroyed by battle, send all cards that player controls to the graveyard instead. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. That's an amazing card. I don't know if we go with Cup of Ace. That just seems like really risky. We don't have any card draw, but like, you know, it's fine. It's like, it is what it is, I suppose. We can maybe cut like a Dangerous Machine Type 6. That card kind of doesn't really do a whole lot. But we've got a lot of monsters. We've got some spells. I wish there was more removal. Like, is there anything else that can just like get rid of cards? What is Miracle Locus? Target face up attack monster you control. Your opponent draws a card. Also, that monster gains a thousand attack until the end of this turn. If it does, it can make two attacks on monsters, but if it attacks, your opponent does not take battle damage. Okay, so interesting. So this is a trap. Uh, battle tricks could maybe be good. How much time? Two minutes. This card is actually really interesting because we don't really have lots of removal. We have ways to like steal each other's monsters, but like it's kind of like a beatdown game in some instances. And so maybe something like Miracle Locust could be okay just to allow us to win some combat. So maybe we play that over Dangerous Machine Type 6 because Dangerous Machine Type 6 is like randomized removal where like Miracle Locust is actually like it can be removal and it can also be like attacking twice with like a Kuraz pump to 34 could be like pretty decent actually. Forbidden Chalice, Chalice for sure. Uh, very important to start, stop Saryuja uh, when we get into it. Golden Gearbox, Gingerbread House. I've never even, I don't recall Gingerbread House. It's from the Cinderella archetype. Golden Gearbox, Car Curries. Necro Valley, that's a pretty good one. Phantom Knight Sword, Phantom Knight Wings. Oh, those are going to be important. Phantom Knights. Those are very, very important. Those are going to be huge for our beaters. I'm going to put in uh, a third moth. I already did. I'm actually pretty okay with this list. Um, I probably am missing something that like could do something pretty decently. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. I'm trying to think if there's anything to give something to the opponent. That's like the hardest part about this. Not really seeing it here. Um, oh, wait a minute. Santa Claus. Santa Claus is like removal. Okay. Yeah, we have to have Santa Claus in here somewhere. How much time? How much time? How much time? One minute. How do we fit Santa Claus in this deck? Um... I really like creature swap. There isn't really a tons of spells and traps, so maybe Dark Bribe actually isn't as good as I might think. There aren't really a lot of monster effects though either, to be fair. So maybe, maybe cut down on the bribes. And finally, your opponent's monster gain levels cards. Constellar House. That's an 1800 beater, Constellar. Without a, a drawback, that might be pretty good. Who else do we have? We have High Speed Roid as a Synchro Monster at level 5. I don't know that we need it. Form of Pal. How much time? Oh my gosh, I have 59 seconds left. Uh, the Rise Bells are pretty good in general, but uh, we don't have anything to abuse with them. There's actually an OTK with uh, Maiden with that from back in the day with Ancient Sacred Weaver. I think we're about where we need to be. Uh... I don't think there's much more I can do. I, I think I'm trying to beat down with big cards. If anything, I should make cuts right now. Uh, I think present card needs to go. This strategy is probably out the window. Uh, and I could lessen on these and go for more defense. And I think we're pretty good here. Uh, oh man, with only that amount of time left, I do see that there are uh, spell and traps worth negating in this format, so I'm glad I saved this down here for the challenge. I'm going to keep the spirit of Christmas, Simo. We'll see what you've got back for me, but uh, uh, I guess with the level gain, uh, we could get to Durandal technically, so I'll put another one of those in as my final card. I don't even know if Santa Claus is really that good, though. It goes in defense, and the problem is it's kind of hard to hit over a Santa Claus. Hmm... But um, it does get rid of like threats that we can't get over like naturally and Santa Claus doesn't have high attack, but we have to have Santa Claus in here. It's the holidays. Um, maybe we should do something like this. I don't know. Like, I think it's maybe like maybe one dark bribe might come in handy. I mean, dark bribe negating something like that though, maybe be better. Ooh, I don't know. Let's go. 
Let's get Bribe back in here. Let's only go one Santa Claus. I think Bribe just being able to negate like a clutch snatch seal or like a soul taker is probably worth it. I'm feeling pretty good. I don't think we need the card destruction. We have like Saryuja in here and there's time on the uh, challenge. I'm pretty okay with this. We have a lot of decent normal summons. We've got some nice ways to refill our hand and special summon to the field. We've got some nice disruptors and recall and dark bribe. We've got ways to get monsters away. I'm feeling pretty good. I actually like this a lot, and uh, I think this is a pretty good challenge. So let's reconnect with John and see how he did. All right, guys, so we're back with House of Champs. Uh, apologies if things look a little bit different. Uh, we actually had to record this on a different day. Something came up and conflicted with our schedules. But nonetheless, we are going to be here doing the duel. John, how did you feel about this uh, Christmas challenge? I feel like there were several ways to go. Like, there's deck out as a real option. There's old school beatdown. There's, like, so many actual defense cards. It's pretty crazy, the varied options. I feel like I did miss a lot of things I could have used, though. Yeah, I feel like there were some things that I missed as well. But I feel like, overall, my deck is, like, solid. It just kind of feels like... Uh, well, I guess I don't want to spoil anything. We'll get to it later. But, yeah, no, I definitely think that mill was a viable strategy. But I think that uh eh, it's it's interesting let's uh let's not waste any more time let's just go ahead and get into it uh oh man this rock paper scissors this could be what it all comes down to uh oh Ooh, bumping okay. Ooh. hmm Ooh. i have a feeling Yes! Oh, come on! I am a certified RPS champion, Seema. Oh, I, was, I, I was gonna next level you with that one. And in the All spirit right. of Christmas, I'll let you go first. See, that's not really in the spirit of Christmas, because that's in your better interest, <laughs> but fine, I'll allow it. Oh okay. my gosh, my hand. This is interesting. Um... Hmm... I, <laughs> you have no clue what you're in store for. I really don't. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I think I'm just going to start with Constellar Koss and pass. And pass? Yes. Constellar Koss can give one of your monsters a level, so. All right. Well, the Ryan Levine special. Oh, when I said you don't this. know what I have in store, I don't know what I have in store. But it's always going to be heads, according to Ryan Levine. And oh, there it is. is. Really? Hey. Oh, my. What if I told you I have not one but two more of these now? Oh, you did not open three of them. <laughs> I drew into the... <laughs> if you go three for three on this, I'm... The kidding. Ryan Levine special will stand. I just have to say Ryan Levine. Ah! Yeah, yeah, that's right. Give me those cards. Well, Merry Christmas, Seema. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. I, I wasn't kidding. Now, this is going to be ridiculous. Yes! Oh, come on! There two we go. Three? Well, I mean, it's 50%. Whatever. Fine. This All is right. going to get interesting now. Let's see here. Uh, I, I guess I could afford to give you another card. Okay, sure. Chainsaw Insect's a really cool one because, like, there are certain scenarios that judges in Texas, David Yao, would use to put up. Like, one of them, Chainsaw Insect, was the only answer to as an out to, like, this unbreakable board. Yeah, so for those who don't know, Chainsaw Insect, at the end of damage step, if it was attacked or attacks, uh, the opponent draws one card. So, yeah. It's 2400 attack on a level 4, though. It's pretty good. Three For this sets. format, Three I'm not sets. complaining. Three sets. Okay, I'm going to draw. I ain't on standby. Go ahead to main phase one. All right, let's do it. Um, Denko does no giving. <sighs> okay. Red Reboot does giving, doesn't it? I don't know that that was on does. our list. Yes, it gives your opponent a trap. Was that on our list? I don't know if it was, actually. <laughs> hmm. I just thought of that. If it was, I missed it. I'll I'll just say that right I, now. I missed it as well. Okay. Um. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead. Let's do this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and activate Chicken Game. All right. So I'm going to pay 1,000 and draw a card. Is that okay? That is fine. Okay. So that's not really good. All right. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and set three cards. Complains when I set three, but sets three times. I'm going to reveal a Danger Mothman. Oh. I'll go for that one. So you hit my costs. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and special summon this Mothman, and I get to draw a card. Okay. Hmm. Well, not exactly what I wanted to do, but I suppose it's fine. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and normal summon Brain Jacker. All right. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and activate Creature Swap. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I think I'm going to have to deny that activation. Oh, the dark bribe clutch. Okay, so creature swaps negated. I get to draw. That would have been great if I drew into another one. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, I was really trying to just take advantage of that. Um, hmm. Let's see. Interesting setup you actually have. A lot of people might not know, but Brainjacker, if it's killed by battle, won't use its effect. But Chicken Game, in a sense, could try to protect it for your setup. Yeah, in an odd way, I suppose. Let's... Do I, I don't want to do that now, I don't think. Chainsaw Insect is pretty good. I think I'm going to go ahead and Soul Taker your Chainsaw Insect. All right. That is a thousand life to me. Correct. And then I can go to battle and hit you for uh, 2,000. All right, I'll take it. And I think I just have to pass the turn. Go ahead. All right, I'll draw. Standby phase, main phase. You're good. I'll use the ability of chicken game to pay 1,000. Sure, get your card. And what an interesting You game. don't want to give me a thousand life points? How rude. I know. Uh, I'm pretty <laughs> selfish in this duel. I will summon my own house. Okay, sure. Uh, I will uh, use its ability to increase its level by one. Okay. Let's see here. I will go ahead and enter the battle phase. That is fine. And I will go after your brain jacker here. Sure, so I'll take 16. Yep. Okay. And with that, I will go ahead and end my turn. All right. So I'll draw. Anything standby? Nah. Main one. Uh, I'm going to chicken game for a thousand. Is that fine? That's fine. See, you complain, but you were the first to set the president of what to do with the chicken That's game. That's fair. That's fair. Okay. So let's see. I'm 6,000. That's a lot. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I suppose we could do that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and normal summon Bright Star Dragon. All right. Which is 100 attack over your uh, Constellar cost. So I'm going to attempt to go to battle phase here. Sure. And we're going to try to swing over costs. Do you have anything before damage? Oh, I don't like where this is going. I do not. Uh, we're going to play a different chicken game here. Oh, my God. Really? Yep. <laughs> really? God yep. I'll start by paying five. All your cards are in danger, duelist. Uh... Let me think about this. I can't win this. I remember I 100% how... cannot win this. I remember how insanely hyped this card was when it came out. I know. People were talking about this so much. Okay, so if I pay 3500 you can just pay 4000 I lose all my cards. Where does that leave me is the question. Mm. It doesn't leave me in a good position. I will say that much. But I lose all my cards anyway if I don't get you lower. Is that the plan? Okay. You know what? Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to pay five. All right. Uh, I will pay five again. Okay. I'll pay five. I will pay five again. I'll pay five. I will go again. <laughs> go again. And again. And again. 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 Uh, one more time. One more for me. It's my last one. And there's the finale. All right. So Clashing Souls resolves. Um, I will take no damage from this because that is how Clashing Souls works. I lose all my cards. This is why I hate this. You're about to see my set card. Oh! That was really, that hurt a lot. Wow. Um, okay. However, 
I do have one day of peace. Oh, wow. So, what a way to cheese it out. So I'm not dying. <laughs> uh, I will go ahead and set one card. Hmm. And I think I'll pass this turn. I'm going to do something a little interesting, Simo. Okay. I have another one of these. Oh, God. Okay. I will increase its level by one. Sure. Don't tell I, me you have Pleiades. I, I have, instead, Gage Poljack's favorite card. Oh, my God, Durandal. Okay. And I think I will also reveal one Mothman. That is fine. Uh, let's go ahead and roll the die for this. We're going to go this one. And there goes the defender. All right. So you get to special summon your Mothman. You get to draw. And that will allow me one more set, and I'll end my turn. That seems pretty good. All right. Draw for me. Anything standby? No, you're good. Main phase one. Well, this is what's going to all come down to, I suppose. Um, hmm. Well, if we go... That, that, that. I think we're going to go ahead and... Is there any way around this? That's the question. Maybe... Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and normal summon my Luna Light Crimson Fox. <laughs> what? <laughs> it has an effect to give you life points, so it counts. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead here. Let's see. I'm going to set a card. All right. I'm going to go ahead and activate Creature Swap. Uh, do I really care about giving you Mothman? Hmm. I think that's okay. Is that fine? That's fine. Okay, so I will give you my Crimson Fox. You will give me your Mothman. Um. Okay, um... In that case, we're going to go ahead and go to battle. All right. I'm going to attack into the Crimson Fox with Mothman. And do you have anything upon entering damage step? I do not. I'll activate wings. Oh, my God, for the 500? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think that's going to do it. So. I, I think even if you had yeah, something, no. can Durandal respond in that step? Um. Well, I had, I had counter traps. But oh, it wasn't okay. the correct counter trap in that instance, sadly. My oh, other man. one was uh, Clashing Souls. another Clashing Souls. I don't think, even if I didn't pay, I still don't think I was in a good position. Because I didn't have, so I had all these, but like, it didn't matter. because. You oh, were wow. Bunched. You could have stuffed the Durandal, yeah. I could have, yeah. But unfortunately, I was trying to bait that at some point. But, you know, we couldn't get there. Can, uh, Dark Bribe should be able to negate. Numbers, I just right? said Dark Bribe this turn, though. Oh, correct, correct. Okay. Yeah, because I was trying to just... I was If you did Durandal, I wanted to make sure you had the Dark Bribe for whatever reason, but yeah, just didn't happen. I was The Clashing Souls was just going to kill me no matter what because I only had a way to get, like, one monster on the board and, like, creature swap and, like, nothing else. So you were just going to be able to take over completely on the next turn regardless. And the fact I, you had a second Clashing Souls, I was so... There was no way. I did have the uh, Mighty Goat format card. Ooh, the Cyber Jar. Yeah. I had this Kuraz in my hand, too. That wasn't really going to do a lot. But anyway, uh, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this deck building challenge. I really hope you enjoyed. Uh, this was a fun one, just, you know, in the spirit of the holidays. I thought it was a interesting. The card pool we had for this one was actually very interesting. And I thought it was a rather unique challenge compared to, like, the typical challenges you might expect. Um, th John, thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to check out House of Champs' channel. He's uh, very close to 50,000 subscribers. And probably by the time this goes live, he'll have already had it. So be sure to congratulate him on that. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching the video. And we'll see you next time. One, two, three, four.